guys I am so excited today so I am headed up to LA to the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet store I call them the bins but they're actually the Goodwill outlet and yeah I'm going up there to go thrifting today I thought I would vlog a little bit and bring you guys along I live about an hour and 40 minutes give or take depending on traffic away from the Goodwill been so it is a little bit of a drive but I do plan on going up there at least once a month maybe a little bit more if you're unfamiliar with what the Goodwill outlet is basically it is a Goodwill store where they take unprocessed donations or store pulls so items that didn't sell in the Goodwill store and they throw them into these giant blue bins <laughs> wheel them out into this big like warehouse room and they just let you dig through them and then when you check out, you pay for all your items by the pound. So it is a little bit harder, in my opinion, to find good items, but the cost per item is a lot less if you're shopping at the bins because they do not mark up based on brand. You just pay based off of how much the item weighs. So let's go ahead, get on the road and get going. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like on the inside. These are the big blue bins I was talking about. As you can see, they're filled with clothing and there's you know, quite a few people digging through all these bins. I was off to the side just kind of sorting through my cart. I didn't get a ton of footage at the bins uh, just because I felt awkward kind of in there filming. But yeah, these are some of the items I picked up. So there was a little Johnny Was sneak peek, a Lucky Brand by Pendleton, uh, collab. This is a Disney sweater. And then a really pretty Zara dress. You'll see these items later in my haul. Um, I'm doing a haul towards the end of this video. This is a really soft uh, anthropology sweater. And then I did find a few pairs of shoes. These are Shuts or Shoots, I'm not sure how to say it, but pretty expensive brand and they look to be in really good condition. This is kind of what my cart looked like. All right, you guys, so I am in my car. It is dark out. I stayed all day at the bins, as you can see. So I'm sorry if this video is really dark. I tried to turn the light on my in my car so you can see me a little better. I am a sweaty mess. I was sweating, digging through those bins all day, but I just stopped to get a Starbucks drink and an Egg McMuffin on my way home because I am hungry. I ended up getting, I think about 34 pounds worth of stuff. Yeah, 34 pounds. They charge $2.29 a pound at this Goodwill outlet, so I spent a total of $77.86. I do not know how many items I picked up. I haven't counted them yet, but I will when I get home. I definitely have two big trash bags full, so I'm very excited. All right, guys, so this is what came home with me. So this is 34 pounds worth of clothing, 55 items total, two big trash bags. So I have the haul portion of this video now. So like you saw, I went to the bins. I got two big trash bags full of clothes, so it came out to be 34 pounds. I spent 77 and some odd change dollars on all of these items. I got 55 items total, bringing my cost of goods to be about $1.42 an item, which is awesome. However, not every single item in here is to resell. A majority of it is, but I think there's about five items or so that I either picked up for myself or for my kids. So you may see those in here, but yeah, I'm gonna jump right in because I wanna try to show all of these items in just one haul video. So we're gonna move a little bit quickly. I did want to mention real quick though that I did end up meeting up with Luciana, who is another reseller who lives in the LA area. It was so nice to meet you. I had such a great time. She was so, so helpful at the bins. Um, and she is also, um, she also has a YouTube channel and she is also filming a haul video of what she picked up that very same day. She did not stay as late as me at the bins. She did get there, I think an hour or so before me. Um, but yeah, I think she got some great items as well. So if you'd like to check out her haul video and her YouTube channel, I am gonna link it down below. So definitely check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. So I did pick up one accessory. This is a genuine leather black belt. It's like a super soft suede on the outer side. This brand is Diesel. And it does have the style name on here. So I did put that into Google and this is a women's belt. 
but really nice. Looks like it's never been worn at all. And this one is a size 34 inch waist. This next um, dress I picked up based off of style. I really don't know anything about this brand, but I love the black and white like buffalo check. So cute. It's got like some fringe detail at the bottom of the dress. It is like a high neck sleeveless. Really cute. I just picture this dress like being worn like to a picnic or an outdoor barbecue or something like that. Um, this is the brand. So I think it's appraisal and it's a size 10. But yeah, I don't know anything about that brand. So we're going to try that out. This next item. Oh my gosh. Love this. So this is Ecote or however you say that. This is actually sold at Urban Outfitters, but this is one of my favorite pieces. I just love this. So it's like a sheer blouse with some velvet like texture to it and it has this gorgeous floral pattern all throughout but in front so so cute so i found the stock photo of this and it looks so cute on the model as well size small this next item so this is intimately free people and this is just a cute little like mini dress it has like the ruffle hem Definitely would have to wear something under this because it does have some like lace, uh, see-through lace parts here, but just really cute, lightweight and flowy. This next top um, does have a stain on it, but I do think it will come out. So I haven't stain treated or um, washed or done anything to these clothes yet. This is exactly how I brought them home. So this is Loft, which is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I'm very picky with the style, but I do like picking up Loft. This one's a size small. Love this cute little blouse though. It also has like the little peplum hem. It has some like eyelet uh, embroidery like cutouts down the sleeve. Really pretty olive green color. Super cute. So you can see the stains on the front like right here. But yeah, I think that that will wash off. So hopefully. Okay, this is a nice oversized chunky knit sweater. It's by Urban Outfitters which I also love picking up. And yeah, it's definitely oversized. This one's a size small in like a off-white kind of cream color, but you can see how oversized it is. So I think this definitely could fit even up to a large maybe, but really nice, super soft. This is another sweater I found. So this one's by Madewell and I love, love Madewell. So I love the pattern on this one. I love the color combination. This is like a thicker knit. I think it's a wool blend. Yeah, so this one's a wool, nylon, and alpaca blend, but super cute pattern. Another one of my favorite uh, bread and butter brands. This is Topshop. Doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it is a consistent seller for me. I do like the um, like patchwork patterns all over this one. I think it's so cute. So it's butt in front, v-neck, slightly cropped fit, but yeah, just look at those patterns. So pretty, size US 4. Okay, this is a jumpsuit. Jumpsuits have been selling really well for me. I think I sold two just in the last week. And this one's by Banana Republic. And I believe it's uh, Banana Republic Factory, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. I think that's what the little dots there mean. So this is a size four, but it is like a halter, high neck. It's gonna be hard to show on camera, but it's got like the high neck and it's a full length jumpsuit. So a really cute pattern, super soft. Okay, the next item, another Madewell piece. So this one's a size extra large, which is great. And I love, love the colors and floral pattern on this one. It's just a really cute, uh, semi sheer like button front blouse, but it has these really cute like puffy sleeves with the little ruffle detail and some, uh, what is that called? Like smocking, I think on the sleeve, super cute. Okay, this was an exciting find. I do love selling Cloth & Stone. Um, Cloth & Stone is a really tricky brand because sometimes for me, it'll sit for a really long time and other times I'll list it and it'll sell very, very quickly. So it's kind of one of those brands that I'm just like 
never sure about, but I do love it. So I find myself still picking it up, especially when I'm at like the bins and stuff. So this is a size large, but it's this really cute chambray dress. It does have pockets. So there are little pockets here. It's got this like leaf print all over it, long sleeve, just a really, really nice style V-neck. Love these chambray dresses like this. This next top is Zara. So I've noticed out here in California, I find a lot of Zara, which um, I did find it back in Colorado as well, but not in the quantity that I find it out here. So I am trying to be a little bit picky with the Zara pieces. I did really like this top though, and I was at the bins, so a little less picky at the bins, but this is a cute top. So it's Zara Basic. This is a size uh, US extra small really cute it's got the little buttons in the front look at this collar though cute little like ruffle collar and then these sleeves oh my gosh so stinking cute little bell sleeves at the end there love this tie front it does have a stain though and i didn't notice that um, at the bins so yeah uh, that was kind of a bummer i'm going to try to stain treat that it looked like i don't know like kool-aid or something somebody was drinking so I'm gonna try to stain treat that and get that out. If I can't get it out, then I guess this will be my top. Okay, next item is this long maxi skirt. So this is a Quicksilver Collection is the brand. Love the pattern on this skirt. So this one's a size medium. It's got this really pretty like Aztec pattern. And then look at the bottom of this skirt, you guys. So gorgeous. So it's like an off-white cream and gray. Super pretty. Okay, next piece. Um, let's see, I think this is another Zara. Yep, so this is the, um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but this is the, okay, uh, Trafaluk collection, Trafaluk, I don't know. Probably mispronouncing that but there it is on the screen. So this one's a size US small. Love the leopard print. So it's just this cute little like slightly cropped blouse in a red leopard print, long sleeve. It has kind of like a slit open back and then the neck at the uh, top of the back has this like tie string. So yeah, really cute. Okay, this is a Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew, uh, the J. Crew Kids line. I love selling Crew Cuts. It does really well for me on eBay. And this one's a size six, seven, a little too small for my daughter, otherwise I'd probably give it to her, but she's definitely uh, grown out of this, I think by now, so I'll be listing this one. But yeah, it's got like this metallic kind of shimmer all throughout, cute little stripe pattern, and it's in amazing condition. Okay, this one I was really excited to find. I don't know much about this brand, but um, I do know it is an expensive brand. This jacket probably retailed for at least over $100. And I just really, really like this style. So this is uh, E-Crew, size zero, but it's this longer length jacket, like blazer style jacket. So it's definitely a longer line fit, but it does have leather sleeves which I think is so awesome. And it's an amazing condition. And I love blazer style jackets like that. I think they're definitely very trendy right now. Okay, this next item is Joie. This is a 100% silk tank top. It's a size small. It is unbuttoned right now, but it's a button front tank top, just a red and white stripe. So nothing crazy, but I know like people like their silk tank tops. so. I think this will still do good, maybe for $25, $30. Okay, let me move that bag. A couple things fell on the floor here. So this is J. Crew. You guys know I like putting J. Crew in my closet. This is J. Crew Factory, size six, but I love the pattern of this short. So definitely more spring and summer pattern, very bright, fun colors, but I definitely think this will photograph well and I think it'll look super cute in my closet. Love the pleating too on the front, super cute. I did pick up one beanie. 
So this is Fox and I love the knit. So it's like a chunky knit, beautiful color uh, combination. And it's got the little pom-pom detail on the top. So just a really cute style. This is another free people item. So this one's a dress. It's like a spaghetti strap dress, size extra small. But the dress has like little ruffle details kind of on the straps, which is super cute. A little bit longer length. I think this one would make a great like beach cover up, but it is really pretty colors. It has a cute little pattern on it. And then the side has some like side slits going up. So really nice. Guys, so on to the next bag of stuff. So this is Rosie Nira. And this is an anthropology brand. I actually didn't know this was anthropology, but Luciana um, noted, or saw the tag and she knew it was anthropology. So thank you so much for letting me know. But super soft, slightly cropped knit sweater. I think this one is like a mohair. No, so it's acrylic nylon alpaca blend. Oops. Okay, so super, super soft. I did pick up these shorts, so this is one of those items I grabbed for myself. So this is uh, Stars Above, which is just sold at Target, but I do like these comfy little sleep shorts and I love this blush color. And I've been looking for some more pajama sets to wear here. And I found a cute little top that doesn't necessarily go with it, but it matches. It has the same like blush color throughout super soft as well this is splendid which is actually a very um, expensive brand but the resale value isn't that great so this is why i just grabbed this for myself but it's a cute little thermal and then i'm just going to pair it with the little matching shorts and i got myself a pair of pajamas that basically cost me nothing um, I did also grab a pair of shorts. This is Mini Bowden, which is a brand that I do like to sell in kids' clothing. So I probably would have still grabbed these regardless. Love the star pattern. However, these are my son's size. So yeah, I'm going to see if he wants these. And if he does, then um, I'll be giving them to him. Okay, this next jacket. I've seen this label somewhere before. I'm not sure if I picked it up or... If I've just seen it um, but I did look it up while I was at the bins and it's actually a pretty expensive brand so Yoana Barashi I think is how you say that I love the unique kind of tag but I do love the style of this so it is like a knit uh, kind of like almost blazer style jacket it's got these really big um, what are these called like grommets grommets I think uh, detailing all throughout in this cute little like gold clasp here and then look at these sleeves they're like a three-quarter length bell sleeve so pretty and this is in great condition such a cute style okay this I was unsure about but it was so lightweight that I decided to throw it in anyways so this is ASOS which is a brand I like picking up just bread and butter uh, doesn't sell for a whole lot but it is a popular brand so I tend to um, to sell the pieces so it is new with tags it's the asos curve line and this is a us size 22 but the reason i was on the fence is because i'm not sure if this is a pajama top and i'm missing the bottoms or if this is meant to be worn as like a satin um, top you know just a regular blouse so i guess it could be either way however you want to wear it um, but yeah it's cute like an olive green color super soft so we'll see what happens with that okay next okay so this was uh, kind of exciting so this is a Zara basic coat and I do like picking up their longer like trench style coats uh, tend to do pretty well this one's a US size small there is a flaw on this one that I didn't notice until I got home but it's this long like black trench coat it does have the belt which I was like, okay, so it has the belt. It looked like it had all the buttons on it, but it, it is missing. So the sleeves actually have a belt as well, like around the cuff. And on one sleeve, it is missing the belt. So I will definitely have to note that in the listing. I think you could just take the other one off and wear it without 
you know, the belt on both sides and it would be fine. Still a really nice jacket. I did pick up a swimsuit as well. So it's just like a cute little top. It's kind of hard to show on the screen, but it zips up the front and it's high neck. And then I picked up some high-waisted bottoms and I really just grabbed these for myself. I'm gonna wash them and see if they fit. But yeah, they're lightweight, so if they don't, I'll probably um, either try to resell them or just redonate them. Okay, this next item, another Zara. So this is the TRF collection. This one's a size extra small, but it's this gorgeous. So this button's all the way down. I know it's open right now. It does have all the buttons. I double checked, but it's this gorgeous like midi. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, midi. Okay, so I, in some past videos, people were correcting me because I think I was saying meaty, but it's midi. Length dress. Love the floral pattern on this. It is like a spaghetti strap. Super cute. Okay, this is a Disney uh, Nightmare Before Christmas sweater. So I believe this was sold at like Hot Topic or something like that when I looked it up online. It's a size large. Really cute, it has some like factory distressing on it. And yeah, just a really cute little sweater. What is that? Okay, there is like some fuzzes on it, but not a hole, just fuzzes. So really good condition. This I grabbed for myself. So this is just by H&M. So it's label of graded goods is the tag here and then it's got the little H&M tag so I'm not sure if this is like a collab um, I'm guessing that's what it is as a collab between the two it's a US extra small but I really liked this yellow color but the back of the sweater says true happiness across the back and then the front says possibilities so really nice I think this is just like Totally my style. I love just lounging in comfy crew neck sweaters and stuff like this. So that will be staying with me. Okay, so all right, so I grabbed um, three pairs of shoes and they're all pretty lightweight shoes. And this first pair is shoots or shuts, however you say that can see it right in there. Um, I do know that this is a brand that I believe is sold at like Nordstrom, but it is a fairly expensive brand. This is just like an espadrille style sneaker, dark olive green color. They do like, like they do look like they're in pretty good condition. You can see there's like a little bit of wear on the bottom, but I think whoever wore them maybe only wore them once um, because they are, I think that'll wipe off pretty easily and they are pretty white on the bottom. So really cute. These are a size seven. Okay, I did pick up this pair of J. Crew sandals. So I have sold a few pair of like the J. Crew Espadrille wedges, and I think this pair is super cute as well. It does have like some um, like wear as far as like dirt and stuff down in the shoe here, but I think I can take a um toothbrush and like some baking soda and dawn dish soap and clean that and i think that'll come right off and look much nicer the bottoms are still in really good condition and these are a size eight and luckily these were just rubber banded together because there was a lot of shoes there that i could not find the matches to um, this pair I think somebody threw back because I found these um, in a bin that I had already looked through and they were on top of everything just out in the open. So I snatched them up. I looked them over really good because I was kind of wondering like why did somebody throw these back? Is there something wrong with them? Are they two different sizes? Are they two right shoes or you know two left shoes? But as far as I can tell they are perfect. So there's a right and left shoe. They're both a size 8. They're brand spanking new. So the brand is Roxy, super cute little booty. And yeah, they're brand new with the tags on. Still, they retailed for $79. And these are called the Madison boots. So yeah, 
I don't know why somebody threw, the, threw these back, but I was super happy to find them. So next, this is something that I picked up based off of style. So I don't know much about this brand. It's Peyton Jensen. Never sold this brand before, but I really like the style of this. This is a size small. It's this really cute, like kimono, pretty uh, color combination with the stripes there. It is a short sleeve, like kimono. But yeah, I just really like this. Uh, I, love, I love this color combination. I love the stripe pattern on it. So really cute. Uh, this sweater I also just got uh, based off style. So this is David Taylor. It's 100% acrylic. I believe this is a men's sweater, but definitely could be worn unisex, size medium. Um, but it's got like the USA graphic on the front with the flag. And yeah, I just think that that's kind of a classic, you know, USA style that people are looking for, like the big, bold prints on the front. This is a pillowcase that I picked up for myself. It's a giant pillowcase and I love plaid. I just thought this would go really cute with some of my fall decor. It's in amazing condition. It honestly looks like it really has never been worn. Worn, looks like it has never been used. There's no like wear on it at all. Um, but it does have a brand here. So it's McAllister Textiles. I quickly did like a Google search on it and this size pillowcase just for a single one retails or sells for $40 on Amazon, which I had no idea. So I'm probably still gonna keep it, but I definitely think that I may be able to like resell this on eBay if I do decide that I don't want it. Okay, this is a Looney Tunes size large. Um, cropped. I think somebody did like a DIY on this and cropped it, um, but they did a really nice job. So it, maybe it did come that way, but I think that somebody cut it, but it's a Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny top. I just think it's really cute. And down the sleeve, it says, what's up doc? So super cute. Um, this top I actually picked up for myself. Um, if I don't like the way it fits, I may try to resell it, but this isn't a brand that I typically pick up, but it's blue pepper, size small. However, the style of this is really cute. So it's kind of like that window pane, which I know is really popular. Some people search just for this particular print, but in front has a little tie at the bottom. It is a tank top, but it has these cute little like off the shoulder ruffle sleeves. So very cute. Okay, this is a Pink Floyd, like graphic tee. It's on like this really soft, like crushed velvet fabric, really cute. Um, this is a size US medium. I believe this was just sold at like Forever 21, but still just a really cute style. So I think, you know, I can get around 15 to 18 maybe for that. Okay, this is a, Banana Republic dress and I grabbed this one it's a size large because I've actually sold this ex exact dress before in the past and it sold within hours of listing it so it sold same day very very quickly doesn't mean that's gonna happen again but because I had such good luck with this particular style in the past I wanted to grab this again so it's just a cute like striped knit dress got three it has the three-quarter length sleeves with these cute little button details. And then the back has the cute little button details as well. So just a really cute style. Okay, this next dress is Fashion Nova. So if you've been following some of my past videos, I picked up a Fashion Nova dress from the bins back in Colorado and I listed it and it sold within I think I wanna say 24 to 48 hours of listing. So it sold very, very quickly. It only sold for $17, but um, you know, being lightweight and from the bins, I will definitely take that. So I wanted to go ahead and grab this, uh, another dress by this brand. So they don't retail for a ton, but if there are people out there looking for them, then I definitely wanna pick them up. So this is a size small and it's this really cute, like deep, like burgundy mock neck dress. And then the side has these cute little cutouts and it does look like it's like a midi length in great condition. 
Okay, this brand actually was pretty surprising. So I have never heard of this brand. I did find two tops by this exact brand. Um, one of them I had to put back because I found holes in it, but it's Fill the Piece by uh, Terry Jacobs, size extra small, small. But I had no idea this was an expensive brand. I've never heard of this brand, but when I looked it up, these pieces actually retail for quite a bit. The resale looks pretty good. Um, I saw people selling tops for $50 to $70 on Poshmark just for tops by this brand. So we'll see how this one does. It's just a really nice like crushed blush pink velvet v-neck. Super, super pretty and soft. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out. Okay, this is a jacket I picked up. So this is just by Hollister. It's their exclusive polar wear collection. Um, it says hibernate in our clothing on a chilly night, size medium. I'm not sure if this is like an older collection or if you can still get this collection, but I did just really like the style of this jacket. Um, so it's just like a zip front. It's like a brownish color. And then it's got like the quilting on the inside, which I think is really nice. So yeah, I just think the style of like this jacket is really cute and I wanted to go ahead and grab it. Okay, this was an exciting find. Um, so I found this and the tag was cut off, but I could see a little portion of it. I was pretty sure I knew what it was, but I um, double checked, I asked Luciana and she was like, yes, that is Johnny was. So here's the tag, you can see it's been cut off but it is um, beautifully embroidered, which is like a typical for Johnny Was pieces, as you see the um, beautiful embroidery like this. And then it has this floral pattern down and little tassels here. So this is a waist belt. So it's like a wrap belt you put around your waist. Um, so when I did find this, I was thinking that it went with a dress. So I was looking for something in this same pattern um, but I couldn't find anything, so I grabbed it anyways because it's very lightweight. But once I got home, I realized that this actually does not go to a dress, that these are sold separately. So you can buy just these wrap belts in different patterns and different embroidery. So yeah, definitely excited to pick this one up. It's not in perfect condition. It does have a few like little flaws on it, but I still think that um, it will resell just fine. Okay, then we have this jacket. I think this is like a faux leather. Um, I don't know much about this brand either, but I really like the style of this jacket. So it's like a faux leather, like moto style jacket. And it has um, kind of like this different like knit material as well. It has like a metallic throughout and kind of like an animal print almost, like a reptile print, I guess. Um, and I don't think that's a hole. So that's on both sleeves like that. And there's no like tear or rip or anything. I think that's just how like the sleeves are cut where your elbow bends on here. But yeah, definitely a really cute style. So see how that one does. Okay, this was exciting. So this is um, a Lululemon tank top. This is a newer style, I believe, uh, which is why I wanted to definitely go ahead and grab it. And it's in amazing condition. So the logo looks great. You can always tell, you know, how much something has been washed or worn by how the little logos are hanging on there, if they're peeling or, you know, all scratched up. But yeah, this one is a size six. So if you don't know, the size is in Usually on these tank tops with the built-in bras, it's in one of the, um, usually I think it's the left side, like bra pad area. This one's a size six and it's got like the little style number around the size dot, which is how I think that you can tell if it's like a newer piece because I believe they just started doing that not long ago. But yeah, super cute, high neck, really nice tank top. It's got like cutouts in the back here. So excited to find that. This is an anthropology brand. So this is Airy and Allie. This one's a size medium petite, but it's like this intentionally distressed, kind of scalloped um, 
little ruffle detail or scallop detail on the front there. Really cute crew neck. Okay, this was an exciting find. I actually think I'm gonna send this to my dad. So um, about five pounds worth of this stuff I am gonna be sending to my dad. If you've seen some of my past videos, we like to do a box swap um, once or so a month. Um, it's just something new we're trying out since we now live in different states. And he also likes to thrift and sell online. So he sent me a box worth, a five pound box of inventory to sell. And so I'm gonna send him one back. But this is one of the pieces I think I'm gonna throw in there. So this is a Lucky Brand by Pendleton Collab. And this is an extra, extra large, but it is a men's piece. And yeah, it's just a really cute like Henley top. It's got some embroidery um, on the front. And then there's a little bit on the back. I'm not sure if there's any on the sleeve. Yeah, so nothing on the sleeve, but just a really nice top. And he does like to sell men's clothes. I think this is the only men's item that I found. He does sell women's clothes as well, but I definitely want to throw that in there for him. Okay, then we have this, uh, the Rolling Stones top. This is a size small. Uh, this was probably just sold at like Target or something like that, so nothing crazy, but it's lightweight, it's cute. It's my size if it doesn't sell, so. Okay, this is another Fashion Nova piece. But again, I really like the style. This one's a size small. It's not a dress, it's actually just a top, but it's cute. It's got like these spaghetti straps, and then it's actually kind of like a cold shoulder top. So it has the longer sleeves, plaid, button front, just kind of a little twist on your classic flannel. Okay, this was a very exciting find for me. So it's not like a super amazing piece, but I have never found this brand before, which is really, surprising like I've never ever found this brand and I know so many resellers talk about it and so many resellers find it all the time never found it so cross this off my bucket list this is wild fox size medium and it's just a cute little black long sleeve so so excited just to finally find that brand um, these I weren't this this is a pair of pants I thought they were pajama pants but after looking them up I think they're actually just like a casual pant that you can dress up with heels and wear out um, and I've never heard of this brand but it is actually pretty expensive and it looks like the resale value is decent um, I saw some on the lower end but there were some that were selling on the higher end as well okay so I'm not sure how you say this brand like when I look at it I think it's LA CA like LA California USA but it could just be all one word <laughs> So it's L-A-C-A-U-S-A, -A um, but yeah, so that's the tag. And they're like a peachy colored satin pant. They have pockets, they definitely need to be steamed. They're like a straight leg kind of fit. And most of their pieces I think are like this satiny material. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. I didn't realize that this was a brand that, was, that um, retails for that much, so. Definitely a cool find. And then this is my last piece. Um, this one I picked up based off of style. So this is Door Door Couture, which I've actually sold this brand before and it did pretty well for me. I think I sold a vest in this brand and it, I wanna say it sold around the $40, $45 range. It was really, really pretty. Um, but this one is also really cute. So this is a size medium and it's this like turtleneck oversized turtleneck uh, poncho. But look at those color, that color combination. I love that color combination. It just reminds me of like a sunset. It's got these cute little pockets in the front and then some fringe detailing on the bottom. So nice. So I think this one will do well as, as well. So yeah, that is it. I have this giant mound of clothes now that I need to get washed and prepped for photographing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of my finds. Like I said, definitely go check out Luciana's uh, video as well. Uh, she went to the bins on the same day that I went. And yeah, I will link that down below. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and um, hit that little bell notification so you do get notified when I post new videos. I think that's the only way you get the notifications is if you hit that bell. So make sure that you do that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.